Hey, hope you guys are doing well. Edgar some solo marketer here. And in this video, I want to quickly show you how to sell digital products with system.io. Uh, there's several ways to do it essentially. Uh, and the step number one, obviously always is uh, knowing what to sell, right? So you have three options. You have the, uh, obviously you can sell affiliate offers, which I'm going to show you in a second what it looks like. Uh, obviously you can sell your own digital products, right? So the difference between those two is the, the affiliate products is uh, you drive traffic to someone else's offer, right? Uh, which is great uh, for people who are starting out in online marketing, but the bad the downside is that you only get a commission, right? You don't get the full, all the revenue from the sale, right? But you get to do less work and you kind of, others can do the heavy lifting for you, but there's a, there's the right way and the wrong way to do it, which I'll show you. And obviously with your own digital products, uh, you can create your own, tailor them to your uh, followers' needs. And then, but yeah, you need more experience, need more time, you need knowledge to do that. And the uh, the third option is, uh, which I call, I like to call uh, kind of best of both worlds when it comes to this, is uh, selling uh, PLR, MRR products, which PLR stands for private label rights, MRR is master resale rights, right? So basically, it's just the, uh, you get to sell other people's products legally, obviously, but keep 100% of the profits. So you kind of get the license for the product, which is usually like a really low price. And uh, then you can just edit them, claim them, repackage them as you want, and just sell them as your own. And I call it the best of both worlds because you get to, um, you don't have to create the product, but you get to keep 100% of the, of the profits, right? So it's kind of best of the, the first two options. So essentially, yeah, three options, all three. I'll kind of show you how to execute that in system. But, uh, but yeah, how do you know what to sell if you're at that stage where you don't even know what to sell? Uh, so essentially what you have to know first is uh, who your target audience is, your age, uh, gender, profession, education level, their passions, books they read, everything about them, right? Those need to be like specific people, you know, you need to really know them well so you can relate to them and you know what kind of problems you can solve for them. Uh, but yeah, once you know that, you need to know, yeah, what kind of pains they have and, uh, and what needs to be solved. And then the next step is finding or creating a product uh, or getting a license to resell a product that solves this specific problem they have, right? It's a simple exchange. They give you money, you solve their problem with, with, you, with your product. And those can be a different different problems, right? And it's, it could be making an extra thousand bucks a month. It could be getting a six pack. It can be uh, finding the love of your life, right? There's like a wide range of things. And uh, yeah, if you can solve some of these biggest problems for people, if it is a uh, good enough solution, if it's a great solution, if it's a no-brainer at a good price, they'll pay money for it, right? It's, it's, it's just a normal exchange. But yeah, as I said, there are three types of digital products uh, you can sell on system. And the first one is obviously uh, kind of affiliate marketing. So the usual way, just to show you, the usual way people do it is when they have a traffic source, let's say they, they're doing, I don't know, TikTok videos, they have a blog, whatever, right? Uh, they send people straight away to their affiliate offer and then people land on it and like 98, 99, whatever percentage of people, they check it out, they leave, right? So that's that's like their only shot. And if they don't trust you, they don't know you, if it's like the first interaction, they're not going to buy. So you lose out on all of these people that could buy it maybe if they see it the second, third, you know, 50th time. So that's why the right way to do it with affiliate offers on system, which is really easy to execute, is from the traffic source, instead of sending them straight to the affiliate offer, first you send them to a landing page and then to a bridge page. So essentially what you do, instead of sending them to, this is like an example of, uh, of, a, of a digital course, how to make money online, right? And uh, this first, you kind of collect the lead up front to watch the video, they have to give you their name and email address, and then on a thank you page, oh, you can watch the video here, and then when they click on it, they can actually go to the to the product, right, to the product page. So that's the extra step in between, and the reason you do that is because this gives you an opportunity to follow up with these people. You build a mailing list, right? Instead of having your one and only opportunity as this internet stranger trying to sell something, whether it's seven dollars, seven thousand dollars, whatever, you have with your mailing list, 
you have the opportunity to build trust, to, to position yourself as an authority and people can get to know you and, and just you have like thousands of opportunities until people unsubscribe if they don't like your emails. But essentially, it's you can just keep communicating with people forever and you can not only offer this product, maybe different products, right? So you have more opportunities, more exposure as opposed to just kind of throwing it out there once and then didn't work out and that's it. So people who do it this way, on average, they make way more money doing affiliate marketing. But yeah, when you do it in system, just to give you like a, there's going to be a video that's going to pop up where it's going to be like the, the whole explanation of how to set it up on system. But just to keep it simple, uh, what you want to do is you want to go to funnels over here. When you log into your system.io account, click on create affiliate funnel. And in this case, it's going to be build an audience. Obviously, you pick your domain. Currency doesn't matter. So let's click save affiliate funnel. So the first one, yeah, just like it says here, it's going to be a squeeze page. So you pick your, let's just say yes, yeah, squeeze page. Let's go edit. So the first page, uh, I wouldn't go crazy with all this stuff. I would delete all this stuff. This is not a website. This is a simple landing page. So I would even take out this stuff and just keep this. Everything else I would just delete. But again, there's going to be a video up top and at the end of this video there's going to be one that shows like the whole process how to set everything up but yeah this is it change up the headline subheadline and this you collect the email you can also technically collect their name if you duplicate this one and then you click on it let's say first name you can collect their first name and email that's what i usually do because i like to uh, meant, uh, kind of call people out by their first name uh, in email. So this is kind of a not mandatory, but a good thing to, to have. Okay, so let's click on save changes and let's go back. So once they fill out this form, they're going to be they're going to land on a thank you page. Uh, yeah, let's just try this one. So let's edit the page. Once they fill it out, they're going to land on the landing page. And here you tell them, yeah, thank you for signing up. And just like, I don't know, this, this one isn't even needed. But it depends on what you're offering them, right? If it's like a free video, if it's like a lead magnet or whatever, right? So here, instead of delivering that, like the, the lead magnet, you actually send people to the offer. So this button, you would put in the link to your affiliate offer, your affiliate link, right? So first you select the, you collect the email and then you send it to that page. Uh, everyone that, you know, makes it this far. But again, I kind of breeze through. Go check out that video. It's going to pop up at the end of this video. It's going to make more sense. And uh, yeah, just how to do a full affiliate funnel, how to find your product, all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's option number one. So let's save changes. Let's go back. So yes, number two, as I mentioned before, you can sell your own digital products uh, on system as well in the forms of courses. And this one, it requires a few steps. It requires to build a course to create a sales page and then to connect them together. Again, there's gonna be a video popping up for the exact details and how to go through the whole process. It's like a longer video, right? But the whole essence of it is if you go to funnels, well, I guess no, first thing is when you go to products, courses, uh, you wanna create a course, which over here, add a new course. Oh, this is the new layout. Let's just delete this one. Let's just deactivate. All right, add a new course. Let's just say a uh, course test course, select your interface, whichever kind of fits you and your brand. Let's just make it active. Let's activate it. And then once you go in, you can, you can create modules, module one, right? Within those modules, if you click on it, you can create lectures lesson one and then you select kind of like let's go back let's actually click on it select template let's save let's go in if we click on lesson one so yeah it's like a simple page builder right you don't even need all of this stuff you just need the video the headline maybe like a couple of download links right so you just build out your course over here and then system right you can add more modules module two whatever your course is whatever is needed this comes with experience this is a longer process but you get to keep all your money right that everything you make you don't have to share it with anyone unless an affiliate sells your course but if you're just selling your own course you get to keep 100 percent of the money and you can build it out with a free account you can build out one course this is like a free dummy account as well so you can build out one if you have like one of the paid accounts then you, you can go up to unlimited so yeah basically you build out your course make sure that all the all the lectures are active, so you activate them, right? Once you create them. And then what you wanna do is you wanna to go to funnels, create 
uh, sales page, whatever it is, sell, pick your domain, currency. In this case, currency matters. So if it's international, usually it's US dollar. If you're within Europe, then it's probably uh, the euro or whatever your local currency is, wherever you're from, Australian dollar, whatever, right? Whatever your audience is, I, I guess that's the best way to describe it. And then let's click on save. Let's click on sales page. Again, end of the video, there will be another one. We'll show you exactly how to create a sales page, all that stuff. But this one will keep it simple. Let's just pick this one. This is going to be a basic checkout page. Let's click edit page, right? This is not even necessary. You can take this out. But over here, simple checkout page. You can add more sections like testimonials and what's in here, right? Like a like a value stack of you get this, this, and that. And these are the bonuses. Kind of kind of lay it all out. Uh, there's more. Obviously, the templates beforehand. There's going to be a template below in the description on a, like a full-on sales page. Uh, the way I do it for like low-ticket offers, it's really just you kind of take it and make it your own. And there's, there's it's a really good one. So make sure to go check that out. But this is yeah, we'll just keep it simple. And over here in blocks, you can add more sections. There's more templates and like for example testimonials, right? You can drag it in over here. Oh, not the best placement, but right, you can place them in here. So once that is done. You need to connect the course and this page, right? So you can actually sell it. So let's go back. Over here, we're going to be connecting them. Digital product, uh, resources. There might be another line here that says connect your payment process processor. Usually it's like a Stripe, PayPal, or both. Or maybe you have different one depending on where you're from. Just click on it. It's just really simple, especially if it's Stripe. It took me like a minute. You just open a free Stripe account, and then you can just connect it to this. Well, if you... Need to open a Stripe account it takes a few more than a you know a few more minutes, but it's really simple. Just do what it says, and it's yeah, it's really straightforward. You can't get lost. But yeah, over here, once that's connected, digital product under resources, you click on here, select a resource, courses. Uh, this is the one. I mean, un unoriginal name, but uh, just select this one. Full access, partial drip content. Full access, you give everything right at the same. You know immediately uh, partial access is you remember built out modules let's say you have eight you can give only the first module right and then you can upsell all six or eight or 12 modules so that's an option and drip content that's more advanced you can check out a video on my channel as well that's like basically where you feed the content little by little that's for bigger courses for like masterminds like a like a 16 week program that has like weekly training so you kind of Instead of dropping it all on their heads, you kind of feed it little by little, weekly usually. Might be daily as well, like a five-day challenge, right? So yeah, that's a drip content. But we're going to give full access. We're going to click save. Price plans. Unless you have any, you can just create a new one. There's going to be course name 17. So these two uh, will show up in the, um, in the receipt. And on a sales page where it shows like the pricing. So these two will show up there. And this one will show up in your in, in their bank statement as they purchase. Let's just do this. This, is, uh, this has like 22 character limits. So make sure to uh, keep that in mind. Price plan type. Usually one-time payment for lower ticket products. Uh, can also do subscription, right? Monthly, weekly, whatever, quarterly. Also can do a payment plan. If it's like a bigger course, let's say instead of one payment of $9.97, you can do uh, three payments of $3.67, right? A little bit more, but but yeah, in three payments and in installments. Let's do one time, 17, for example. Let's click save. And yeah, you can add a coupon if you want, but it's simple as that. Uh, make sure to go do a test purchase. That's where you can add a coupon for like 100% discount over here. Uh, but yeah, just click on it. Go, go, go kind of check out the page, do the test purchase. Thank you page, same principle. Click on the thank you page, select whichever uh, one kind of suits whatever format you might need. So this one is for the, uh, for the second, like creating your own digital product. And as for the third one, which I said, like the best of both worlds in a way, which I've done myself and a lot of people are doing, is uh, selling someone else's PLR, MR products, which... Again, as I said, private label rights or master resale rights. But yeah, you get someone else's product, but also like, which means you don't have to do as much work. You don't have to create everything from scratch. You just basically take someone else's product, like download it, and you can upload it on system, right? Create the course like I did here, or you can just deliver it by email if it's like only a book. But 
all this stuff is created for you and some of these licenses yeah you can just edit everything and put your own name on it and just do whichever way your audience kind of it suits their needs and whatever they might uh, require from your products but also it can just be the same product as is if it's a good fit for your audience so yeah you just take someone else's product obviously with their uh, approval they're you know they're upfront like this comes with a license you not only you not only buy it for yourself but you can resell it so that's kind of a cool thing um, and that's what I kind of highly recommend for people who are starting out as well it's I mean it's good for all kinds of experience levels but it's kind of I would say even better than affiliate marketing in a lot of ways it still requires a little bit of technical knowledge but it's all the same thing that I showed in, in creating your own digital product but you can do the same thing with a PLR MR product and for those you can check the description below as well there's a couple of examples of different PLR MR products to just to show you like what what those look like and you know when they come with their own resell uh, licenses and then what that essentially looks like yeah just go check it out below but yeah that's kind of the short version I kind of breeze through check out the videos and uh, like subscribe all that YouTube stuff and yeah um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.